Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Fabry and today we're going to look over the Adept web clients. Let's start with a quick description of both. There's Adept Explorer and Adept Reviewer. Adept Explorer is a thin web-based client designed for users who need to access and review documents and information stored in Adept, primarily in read-only mode. Built on the Adept Explorer platform, Adept Reviewer adds full workflow participation, upload, related fields, and the ability to edit data cards. Adept Web Clients require no installation on the workstation. The Adept Web Interface has been designed with the goal to make it easy for all types of users to find what they need fast. Both casual and power users will feel equally at home in Adept. At the top is a search box to make it quick and easy to search all fields on your data card. Below that are buttons for three actions. Upload, which lets you browse for and upload files to Adept. Search, which lets you search for any information throughout the database. And Last Search, which saves the criteria from your last search. Here's an example of a search card. These are unique to each of our customers. The idea is simple. Type in what you know. In this case, I just know the project number. Now I see a list of every file I have access to for Project 13998, even though these files could be stored in different subfolders. Every one of your files will have a data card associated with it. These are easily configured by your administrators and can be quickly changed. In this example, I have several tabs across the top of my data card that hold different fields of data, like this area that I designed to look like our drawing title blocks. You can define selection pull-down so people don't need to type or mistype. These fields are linked to the attributes in an AutoCAD drawing title block. If they update in the drawing, they'll update in your data card. The same goes for properties in other CAD applications like Inventor, SolidWorks, Key Creator, MicroStation tags, and even Word and Excel properties and many others. On this tab, we have some related fields. This feature is part of a depth reviewer and Adept Desktop, but is not available with Adept Explorer. The Related Fields feature allows you to define hierarchical relationships or dependencies between data fields in your Adept data card. Based on the selection you make at the top, it drives the display of data at each sublevel. The result is data entry is easy and accurate. Building on that, you can also set related fields to automatically populate subfields based on a selection. In this case, I've selected a location and it filled in the address. This makes it easier and faster to enter good data into your card and it helps when you're searching in the data card as well. Now, I have other tabs to categorize other information like change notices, emails, transmittals. There's even a memo field to chat and insert images. And finally, a thumbnail tab to get a quick peek at the file. Now, when I designed this card with these tabs, I had a specific group of designers in mind. I laid it out in a way that they would understand and appreciate. Our project managers, though, didn't want or need to see all that information. They wanted to search on and see the fields of data and these tabs. Some tabs are exactly the same. Some tabs have unique information that only the project managers sh should see. And some users may have these card views assigned to them so that they don't have this pull down. They can only see that one card. And this enables you to easily dial in what files people can see as well as what data about the files that they can see. Below, we have your favorites and saved searches, making it easy to get to the information that you need most frequently. Favorites and saved searches can be shared with different groups of users, enabling you to serve up easy access to the information that's most relevant to them. This saved search does the typing for me, so I always find the right files. In the top left, we have the full text search option. This enables you to find files based on any word or text in the file. This is extremely helpful if you're looking for a document based on a word or text string that you know. And this could be a piece of equipment inside of your CAD file that you've got tagged or a specification, a change notice, an email, any file that has text inside of it. All licenses of Adept include a free viewer that views hundreds of file formats without requiring expensive CAD software. 
And because Adept is deeply integrated, you can allow some users to print and mark up and convert files, while other users may only be able to mark up this particular project. And here we can see the word initial that we searched for earlier with Adept's full text search. It's that simple for very lightweight occasional users to get what they need. For those ADEPT users who are out in the field with mobile devices, the ADEPT interface is responsive and works on a phone or the iPad. Now let's take a look at how the data that you have in your data cards can be instantly sorted for you. An ADEPT file guide is a way to sort files based on general information that you know. For example, one group may like to see the files sorted by the job number and then by the type of a product it is. Another group might want them sorted by the product type first, then who the designer is, or a building name, then sort by discipline. In this one, I have all of my files sorted by which step of an approval process it's in. Here's all the files in the drawing review. These are configurable and different for every one of our customers. For those of you that like the old folder structure on your network, you'll find that here in the library browser. You can still drill down through folders and subfolders to get what to what you want. For those of you with large numbers of folders, there's a really nice filter tool. I simply type in part of the folder name and it filters out all the folders that don't match, making it simple to weed out what you don't want to see. This works similarly in the file guide views as well. In the lower left, we have the document dashboard. The document dashboard has a lot of information about the file that you've got selected, like these files reference or are linked to our drawing. X reference or part to assembly parent-child relationships are displayed in the tree structure on the left as well as the children tab. Past versions are managed for you automatically. Some users won't be able to do anything with these, yet others with the rights to view and copy them can have access. There's also a workflow tab which shows what steps in a workflow process has been completed or still to go. Here's an audit trail of all the actions performed on the file. This is all reportable information. For those of you that must be audited for regulation compliance, the audit trail will save you a ton of time. And then a thumbnail tab which I see a lot of users leaving open as their default. Now, if the dashboard cramps your browsing style a little bit, I can free up some space by moving it over to the right. Now I have more space to browse and I can still see my dashboard. If I want even more real estate for my columns, I can collapse the left navigation with this hamburger symbol, leaving just the icons. And if I want even more, I can collapse the library browser itself. All of this is easily configurable to suit many different levels of users. Now, many of you have external contractors, vendors, or customers that you work with. ADEPT offers a round-trip way to work with these partners. If you're collaborating with them now, you may be emailing uncontrolled documents manually, publishing PDFs to an FTP site, snail mailing them, or copying them to an open file sharing program like Dropbox. When they have reviewed or edited the files, they are using similar methods to get them back to you. ADEPT simplifies the entire process. The idea is simple. ADEPT has powerful transmittal automation capabilities that make the process of creating, sending, and tracking transmittals easy and fast, and it reduces the chance of errors compared to a paper-based transmittal process. You can search for and select the documents to be sent with a transmittal from inside ADEPT's controlled environment. You can see our transmittal automation video for more information on this. As an external contractor, let's assume I've received this email notification about a transmittal of drawings that I need to review and do some work on. I click this link and it will take me right to my login and right to the documents in ADEPT. Or, if I'm already in ADEPT, I could also see those files listed in my inbox. From here, I can view or mark up the file, or if changes are required, I can download the document, make the changes, and then upload the file back into ADEPT. Let's assume I've already downloaded the file I needed to edit and I've already made those changes. From here, I simply browse for the file and upload. Next, the project manager can review my work and approve or reject it. 
With Adept Web, our customers and their partners have a 360 degree way to collaborate on projects. With upload and download fully supported, there's no need for those uncontrolled file transfers as with an FTP site or Dropbox folders. And with Adept, documents are uploaded and downloaded are all version correct. For more information, please check us out at Synergist Software or give us a call. On behalf of everyone at Synergist Software, thank you and have a great day.